meter and time signature. In most Western music, beats are grouped together into regular recurring patterns of strong and weak beats, or stresses, that is called meter. These groupings are divided into measures that are indicated in the music by bar lines. Usually the meter is notated at the beginning of a composition, or hymn, with a time signature, always consisting of two numbers, one at, one at the top of the staff, occupying two spaces, and one at the bottom, occupying the bottom two spaces. The top number signifies the number of beats or number of pulses in each measure, while the bottom number indicates the note value that receives one beat. Thus, a time signature of 2-4 indicates that there are two beats into a measure and a quarter note gets one beat. In 2-4, two, 2-2, four, two, two, or even 4-4, four, four, what's called duple meter, the first beat is the strong beat and usually in choral works, an accented or stressed syllable will be sound on this beat. The second beat is weak. Any syllable that falls on this beat will be or should be unaccented or unstressed. A time signature of 3-8 indicates that there are three beats to a measure, and an eighth note gets one beat. In 3-4, there are three beats to a measure, and a quarter note gets one beat. In 3-2, there are three beats to a measure, and a half note gets one beat. In triple meter, the first beat is strong, while the second and third beats are weak. Orthodox music that is based on chant typically, typically will have steady meters. However, because the rhythm is often unsymmetrical or free, depending on the text, and will frequently change within a given hymn, called a the Huron or a Troparian, Time signatures usually are not used. Thus, the conductor must be able to determine the groupings or patterns of strong and weak beats in order to conduct the music so that it will be sung in a steady meter and in proper rhythm, and especially in a way that the textual or poetical accents agree with the musical accents. Often, the text of a stihiran will include a number of different patterns, and the conductor must be able to move from a pattern of two to a pattern of three or four, then back to two, with comfort and ease. For this reason, this course will include exercises that emphasize the movement from one conducting pattern to another.